guys, Kori the Vampire for Enemy Core 85 here to talk to you guys about the next anime recommendation I recommend to you all. And since this season is all about fantasy and isekai, I thought, okay, you know what? Here's here's a new one that's well, it's basically a sequel to, to an anime that occurred about a couple years ago. It is called Ready. Misfits of Demon King Academy, I believe. Oh well, I'll post it right here. It's basically about this guy uh, who is essentially a demon lord, and well, he goes by Anno's uh, Vodigod, I believe that, that's how it's pronounced. And uh, let's just say he got reincarnated as, you know, reincarnated and he entered this this night academy and let's just say that uh, he is an overpowerful he's so overpowered okay he it's just so amazing how he pretty much makes the teachers and all these students look look like weaklings and other stuff and yeah and of course you know he he Somehow starts his own harem and such, uh, befriending these two girls who apparently are actually one person, but somehow 2,000 years ago they somehow got separated and uh, everything. And it's it's, it's quite a re really really good anime. Uh, the sequel to it, uh, the second season, already came out, and I heard that based on what I read in the comment section because I have watched this through. Well, both Crunchyroll and Nine Anime is that I found out that uh, the author or the one who's in charge of this anime such manga apparently uh, there's some serious allegations charged against him or something. I don't know the whole exact details of, about what's going on, but I'm sure uh, someone who follows the the author such pleasure or. Order. I'm not sure if he's the other publisher, but anyways, uh, if you follow him or you know everything uh, about what's going on, just go ahead and leave that in the comment section down below. I'll I'll, I'll read it, of course, because I, I I don't really really keep keep up to date with with the whole bunch of people who who make anime and mangas like these, because you know I just I just read anime. I mean I just watch anime and I read mangas. I don't really really keep track of who who wrote what, who created what, and all sorts, alright? And the only people in the in pretty much gaming industry that I know of are pretty much Phil Spencer and uh well let's see. It used to be Jack Trenton, but I know he he's doing something else. I I, I don't know. I don't know about the guy. Uh but Phil Spencer for sure. Uh, Shigeru Miyamoto and some of those people, but those are pretty much most of the most high top suits people who are in the gaming industry. That's all I know of. Anyways, moving onwards. So this anime really really just uh, has something related. So what, what ended up happening is, so the story unfolds where um, something happened like right after the demon lords and the hero uh, had this m had this battle or whatever, and it's funny. Most animes and most video games, it's always the two you know between good and evil. They always end up fighting amongst each other. It's always the humans going up against you know some sort of demon lord or something. However, in this anime series and manga series, they actually, the hero and the demon lord end up befriending each other and working together to create a better world. And as I think about it now, not to be adding politicalness to this uh, recommendations video, I will just say, you know, It'd be great if both parties, whether you're Democrat, Republican, or whatever, imagine if both both parties separate their own differences aside and work together to create a much more better world. 
for everyone to live in. It has to be fair for everybody. Okay? I don't care what what race you come from, what culture or country or whatever. All everyone should be treated equally and everyone should just work together by putting their own differences aside. Okay? I mean after all, you are living we are all human. We all are living on this wonderful planet. And the last thing we need is having another another revolutionary war where everyone does not have a say in everything. Everyone has a right to say something and everyone should be treated fairly. Those are just, just my views on, on how I think, you know, the world should be. But you're welcome to, to, to disagree if you want. I'm just speaking from from based on my opinion. Anyways, getting away from from the getting away from that topic, as you know, and then after two thousand years passed, everything is somehow shifted. Somehow existed the guy named Alvos, but it actually turned out it was actually the hero who became a demon lord and you know I'm not gonna spoil much of it for those who have not seen it. But I'll just say I will just say it's a really, really good anime. And if you have not watched the, and if you have already finished the first season, uh, the third, I believe it's the third episode. Yeah, yes, the third episode for uh, Misfit of Demon King Academy Two is already out, so you can watch it. I actually watched the third episode, and it's actually funny because. Um, they end up going to this spirited realm such forest, and uh, apparently there's a really, really creepy Deku tree <laughs> that apparently educates these people, and it is so funny. But also, the the tree himself is actually very, very creepy in some way. I don't know what else I could say, but it, it's it's really good. Highly recommend you to watch it. Uh, watch the first one if you haven't, and then move on to the second season. It's really good so far for the second season. So that's about it. Um, I don't want to go into details because I don't want to spoil the whole entire uh, first season of the anime to you guys. All right. So that basically pretty much covers it. Um, I will get around to. Uh, to watching uh, Tales of the Abyss. I want to actually play the video game first though. I know it's only on 3DS, I really wish it was. I really, really, really wish Bandai Namco actually remade remade the game for uh, PC or for all, all modern day consoles, to be honest. So that way everyone gets a chance to play it, because you know, not everybody had a 3DS at the time. And yes, there are a 3DS uh, emulator, which I'm going to probably think about getting, so I can play it. I haven't played, let's see, Tales of Hearts R, and there are some other Tales of games I didn't get to play. Uh, there was one for the smartphone, I forget which one it was, but eventually uh, it got shut down completely. But it was pretty, pretty cool, uh, I forget the name of it, it's Tales of something, it, it was on smartphones. Uh, about a year or two ago, and I remember playing it, you know, it consumed a lot of battery life, but it was still a fun game. Anyways, that about covers it for this anime rec recommendations video, and of course, uh, if you love everything you saw here, click the like, click the bell icon with sub uh, while you're subscribing, on, with, with all notifications enabled, and uh, everything. I will do another Let's Play uh, probably tomorrow. Um, probably for Tales of Arise, and I may probably do another Perfect Dark uh, episode probably tonight, maybe, in terms of live streaming, or I also might play uh, Harvest Moon 64, considering I just got that uh, ROM game on my uh, emulator. So, there you go. Um, am I ever gonna do a uh, Horus Moon Let's Play? I don't know. I might do that, probably, but I'll let you guys know. 
Alright, uh, with that, I'd like to end things up here. This is, uh, this is Kuri the Vampire from Enemy Code 85, and I'll see you guys next time. So, so long, take care, and leave all your comments in the comment section down below. Alright, see you guys then. Thank you.